When cities and countries around the world imposed lockdown measures earlier this year due to the coronavirus pandemic, images showed just how much air pollution had dropped because fewer people were traveling. The improvement of air quality was a silver lining to COVID-19. Gotta look at anything positive, mm -hmm. right? Well, the coronavirus pandemic has affected almost every aspect in our daily lives this year. And yes, even the weather. ClickOrlando.com's Rihanna Voles is here now with some new data that explains how COVID-19 has impacted weather forecasting. Yeah, and Candace, we have you to thank for presenting this data in this very informative article on ClickOrlando.com. Now, according to a recent study, less airplane traffic is increasing the margin of error in the weather models. Now, just to give you an idea of just how impacted this has all been since air travel was earlier this year, here is a photo showing air travel around the globe in January. Okay, so you've, it's very busy right there. Now you scroll down right here, that's May 2020, and you can see there are far fewer flights. So how do airplanes help forecast models? Well, during flight, aircrafts continually record data, including wind speeds and the amount of moisture in the air. Now that information is then used on a global scale in forecast model runs. The data is especially important in tropical weather. Besides satellites, aircraft and ships play a vital role in weather data collection since observations over the open ocean are limited. Simply put, Forecast model accuracy is only as good as the accuracy of its data going in. So you may be wondering just what regions are being impacted the most by all of this. And we have the answer to that. Regions that tend to have the busiest air travel, like Northwest America, Southeast China, and Australia, have seen a large discrepancy in forecast modeling this year. But areas like Western Europe have been able to compensate due to high density of meteorological observation stations that are available there. And finally, I'm sure this is what you're all wondering, and that is what does this mean for our weather forecast? Well, large errors in forecast models could cause delayed warnings of extreme and dangerous weather, resulting in additional hardships for residents. Now, this is especially worrisome for the millions living along the coast during the peak of hurricane season, which, by the way, is just days away. A large margin of error in tropical models could mean large discrepancies on landfall timing and a storm's intensity. Staying up to date with the latest tropical updates and advisories is key to preparing for whatever weather may come our way, and we are always stressing that. So for more takeaways and to look over graphics explaining weather models, we have it all for you over at clickorlando.com. And Candice, this was one story that you had in your very awesome new Pinpoint uh, Insider weather newsletter that you guys have been doing every week, and I, I feel like I'm, I'm a meteorologist just from reading that. Oh, aren't you sweet? It's so interesting. And newsletters, I mean, I'm I'm kind of addicted now to these newsletters, so all you got to do is head on over to clickorlando.com slash newsletters. There you can sign up for all the type of newsletters you're into. We have the Space Newsletter, we have Breeze 4 p.m. Trending Newsletter, which is always a great read um, when, you know, when I'm starting to head, head home, but we are going to be sending those out every Thursday, and it's the entire weather team. We have information on uh, climate change. We have information on tropics. You know, uh, Jonathan Kegas goes really in depth into tropics if you're really into that. Uh, Samara Kokinas does stuff about, you know, weather history. So, I mean, whatever, you know, whatever you fancy, we, we got that newsletter. It yeah. goes right into your inbox. It's a really easy read. A lot of you fun You can really graphics. make it an educational tool really for, you know, those students who are interested in weather as true. well. You could, you know, give them an assignment to read that. Yeah, and there's a bunch of different links there. You also have links to send us questions. So if you have a, you know, why does the weather seem to do this or that, we'd love to, we'd love mm -hmm. to explain it to you. Give it some time to read through some of these web stories.